Hey everybody and welcome to Digital Painting Techniques with Bobby Chu. Today what I'd like to share with you is a great tip for digital painting from my class on Schoolism.com. I promise you if you never heard of this technique before and you try it out, you do it, you'll instantly become better at digital painting. A lot of times all it takes for beginner artists is that you are just painting the wrong things at the wrong time, painting them in the wrong order. You know, it's like trying to paint somebody's figure starting from the fingernail. It becomes very hard without the underlying structure and all that stuff. So today's technique is all about the two window technique. A lot of times when we paint traditionally, what we do is we want to paint from up close. And then we want to take a step back and paint from far away. But a lot of times with digital painting, this back and forth thing becomes very disorienting and it ruins the flow. Well, this is what I do. I go up to window, arrange, new window, and I open up a secondary window of my painting. I'll shrink it down and I'll put it off in the corner. I'll leave one window that's up close and one window that's far away. This way with digital painting you could do something that you can't do with traditional painting or drawing which is looking at your painting from far away and from up close at the same time. And this way a lot of times you'll see me painting in the smaller window, switching it up, painting in the larger window and going back and forth, back and forth. Why? Because now I can look at my painting from far away and up close at the same time. You know, a lot of people might say that this little window looks like the navigator window. Yeah, it does. But the only thing is, you can't paint in the navigator window, and this one you can. So this way, you can look at things from up close and far away at the same time. Now, here's another tip for you that it is very important. It's more important that your painting looks good from far away. It must look good in the smaller window. If it doesn't, then that means that there's no harmony in your painting. If it only looks good up close and it doesn't look good far away, then that means that you have some great pockets of detail. But it doesn't work as a whole. This smaller window is far more important. It must look good in a smaller window. It must look good in a smaller window. After it starts looking good in a smaller window, then be more concerned about having things look good in the larger window. And there you go. That's the tip for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you practice it. And uh, let me know in the comments if it works. Join me on Schoolism.com for art classes where you'll learn from known professional artists. Watch the lessons, do the assignments, hand in your assignment to the site, and in a few days you would receive a new video where you have your assignment on screen. Your teacher would then paint and draw on top of your assignment, designing their teaching towards your specific skill level. You can watch the videos on your own time. You can do the assignments on your own time. You have a due date. That's it. You have access to the videos 24-7, and the best thing of all is that you can ask the teacher any questions that you want. Also, you get to watch everybody else's video critiques as well, because they'll be asking all sorts of different questions that totally pertain to you, it's just that you never thought of asking. If you'd like to find out more, you can visit us at schoolism.com and sign up for a class today.